battery registration is necessary because nowadays cars use all sorts of data such as uh, the battery's capacity, its age, and a bunch of other data in order to determine how to charge it most efficiently and how to use it up most efficiently. If you end up changing your battery, but don't tell the car about it by doing a registration, then you risk having all sorts of electronic problems with the car as well as shortening the lifespan of your new battery. But don't worry, that's where Carista comes in. You can do all of this by yourself without going to a dealer or service shop. Physical battery replacement is pretty straightforward. In this case, there's a cover. There might be some brackets holding the battery as well. So undo those, undo the battery cables. First undo the negative one, then the positive. Take out the battery, put the new one in, reattach the cables in reverse order. So positive first, negative last and take a picture of all the markings on the battery so you can use them later. This is where you can find the battery capacity, possibly the technology and the serial number, which you will need later in the app. So after you've connected your new battery, you need to come into Carista and go into service, then pick battery registration, wait for it to load. Here you see the parameters that are stored into the car. Enter your car's new capacity here. Maybe it's 75 amp hours. Uh, all this information is written on the battery itself. So make sure that you get the correct stuff from there. Battery technology. Maybe your new one is an AGM. Manufacturer, there's a code that's on the battery itself. I'm not going to change it in this case. And this is important. Make sure you enter your new serial number. You have to change the serial number in order for the process to work. When you're done, press save and the process is complete.